Mark Himmett is a former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Political Military Affairs, and he joins me live on the line from Istanbul. Appreciate your time. We've heard the claims coming from uh, Iran that this new missile can uh, evade Israel's Iron Dome system, even U.S. defense systems. I mean, we often hear these claims come from countries. We heard it from Russia when they um, said that they had a new um, um, subsonic, I believe it was, uh, Kinjal missile. So big claims always come out at these times. But do you believe them? Well, look, I don't think we should downplay what the Iranians are saying. Uh, their, their recent transactional relationship that's blossoming between themselves and Russia uh, could certainly have meant that some of the hypersonic technology that the Russians put into the Kinzhal missile has now ended up into the Fatah missile. Uh, we need to look at that carefully, prepare defenses for it. But I would also note that uh, Kinzhal has been used in the Ukraine battlefield and uh, the air defense weapons systems uh, in the battlefield right now have been pretty good about holding up to the Kinzhal. So I, I think we need to take this seriously, but I, and I don't think we should downplay it, but I don't think that this is the invincible weapon that the Iranians would have us believe. Is that the Patriot missile system that we're, we're talking about there that the US has been supplying to Ukraine? Well, that's publicly what the Ukrainians told us, shot down the Kinzhal missiles. Uh, oftentimes, these types of operations are shrouded in operational security. But if you believe and they're telling the truth in their public announcements, yes, it was the Patriot. Which has been around for a while, so presumably the U.S. has got something even better back in reserve, one would uh, uh, presume. What effect um, does this announcement, though, have on U.S. Iran relations, does it have any effect on sanctions? Does it have any effect on the prospect of reviving the Iran nuclear deal? Well, first of all, I think it's uh, not a coincidence that they announced this at the same time that uh, Secretary Blinken is coming into the region. It's sort of a uh, not so subtle threat uh, to the Americans as they try to uh, work alongside the Saudis in light of this recent uh, thawing of relations between Israel and between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. Uh, but I think that, uh, again, we have to take this in the context of the whole picture. And of course, it's going to have an effect on the discussions at the uh, revival of JCPOA, uh, especially since I would suspect the Iranians are looking a year from now and recognizing that uh, President Trump may be coming back into power and that will not bode well for any discussions. Mark, thanks so much for your time. Mark Kimmett, my guest, former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Political Military Affairs.